All right, guys, what's up? Another video here, unless this don't work out. I think what I'm gonna try to do, I took some measurements the other day. I think I'm gonna try to take the plow off this other little craftsman I got out here. And uh, see if I can make it work on the uh, Alice Chalmers. I had to modify this one to fit this tractor, even though it was still for a craftsman, but it's the only plow I have. Might have to modify the modify some things there a little bit, but it could still go back and forth if I do make it work. Um, I just think that one'd be a better plow rig, bigger, heavier. I got chains that fit it, I believe. So first I had to get these tires up, probably give it a jump. Don't know if I'll film all that, but I'll pull it in there while I had to back the other one out or something. And uh, I'll come on back. All right, well, you kind of missed the struggle. So I guess both my jump boxes are dead. This thing wouldn't start. So I backed that tractor out of here, drove it out. It's gonna hook to this with a chain to drag it over onto the black top where it was easier to move around. Well, get on it. Nothing at the key. So now I gotta look into that. I don't know if it's a battery or something with a switch or what, but drove it in that spot, shot it off, and that was it. Anyhow, so I push this, push this thing in here, drug it in here. <clears throat> if I remember correctly, should be just these two bolts and nuts in the front. And then I made these brackets when I put this on here. And the bolt on the side of the frame right there on each side. So, you know, 9 16 French. 3 8 bolts, 9 16 nuts, should slide right off there. I make it sound easy, but it, it can be a struggle. I can't remember taking it on or off as a struggle, but because you can kind of separate all this. But I think I can drag it off there on one piece and then do what I gotta do afterwards. <laughs> Hopefully, this works easier than I thought better than I'm thinking because I don't know. I thought I could get away without having something welded across there, but then I realized this is part of the frame. If I had a piece of it there to there, which would be easier to make happen if I had gas in my welder. I don't know. Right there and there. Sorry. My camera skills suck you can tell I've modified this before <clears throat> but hey I picked the plow up cheap so it was worth it it's worked two winters now so I just need to have your tractor or weights or something but... all right so I'm probably gonna set you up y'all can watch me struggle May time lapse it, I'm not sure, but either way.
All right, now I'll get the other one back in here. <clears throat> All right, got it in here. I'll close this door, keep it semi-warm. Now, I don't wanna separate this from the rest of it because I need to make this part fit. <clears throat> also, I did uh, put the air cleaner and stuff back on it, and these guard covers, whatever you want to call them, heat shields and stuff, did grease up the steering on the grease fittings and on the gear underneath there. <clears throat> uh, you know, I'm not sure how to check the gear oil or whatever's in the uh, rear yet. But it's probably fine, but I'm probably going to look into that too. But oh, I also fixed wire on the headlights that was broke off. I just quick fixed it, ugly fixed it there. Had a little bit too much wire, but zip ties and stuff works. So <clears throat> the uh, lights work now. So I'm gonna try to put this thing right to work, hopefully. I mean, it could use a restoration down the road here. I did find some rust along here. Kind of rusted through right there, but it's still manageable. <clears throat> Alrighty. So, I'm going to split this apart and come back. It's just a few pins down there thing I think and the other one one of them comes out or something but I'll come on back then all right so I tried sliding this on there on the front hmm. with these arms that go around it but it gets a little tight in here mainly because of how this is welded on the inside so guess what I'm gonna do is might take one side off here or both. The unbolt there. There's two bolts and nuts. And see how things line up along the sides. And maybe I can make something work or get that part on there after it's in place. I don't know. <clears throat> but I don't think where these are. Is going to line up with these holes, which sucks. Um, so I don't know if I can get far enough back here to share them bolts. That I, I think they're just holding that shroud on that goes around there in the back of the motor. Um, also, another issue if I get it all the way on is where this muffler tailpipe thing comes out. These wraparounds will, this wraparound will block it. So I might have to figure out where that comes through and meets this. And I might have to put like another hole in this. So that exhaust has somewhere to go. So a little bit more than I was hoping. <clears throat> I also wish I really had a uh, wild gas right now. So because then I could probably just weld a piece back in here to go all the way across and put holes in that because I'm not crazy about drilling any more holes in the frame I mean it'd probably be alright but I'd just rather not so she's a she's classic I don't want to screw it up so I guess I'll take a 
take these off. I'm just going to take these bolts and nuts off here. And, yeah, I don't think I'm going to film that. I mean, I think you get the point. This will just separate from this part. So, I'll come back, figure out something. Alright, um, so, developments. Did take that off. And, uh, well, this is kind of roughly, but, uh, that don't go back far enough, even after I show you why. If I try to put that all the way back, that bottom part down there hits it, I'd have to cut some out of that so it would go back flush with this. And even then, I don't think it'll hit hit that bolt. It'll be close, but it won't be right on it. And I still don't think it'll catch these bolt holes in the front here. So, and I'd rather not cut it up too much. steering of the tire on the other one there rubbing on that um so yeah I'm kind of at a standstill here this may not even make a video but I had to do some brainstorming for what I might could do Or I'll hit up the old marketplace and see if I can find any garden tractor plows. And just cheat that way, get one that will work on it. Providing it's cheap enough. Which it would have had to be almost free at this point. But, I don't know. This stuff probably go back on another tractor now, so. That sucks. what to do now kind of wanted to put a plow on this thing i had a you know cool thumbnail for the video and all kinds of crap planned out for it but that's on pause and well i gotta figure out why it won't start again now so there's that so that's where i'm at uh, so, do I figure something out or whatever? That's it. Well, I put the plow back on this tractor and I uh, ordered that. I did get this thing to turn over with the uh, key again. I had to bypass. I think safety switch to the PTO, I believe. Which I did it once on the top side up here under the instrument panel right behind the battery and stuff. But I guess I gotta had to bypass both ends or something. Yeah, so I mean, got a few electrical bugs there, but I don't know if it'll affect how any of that works not that i've had tried to use it yet but but that's where we're at so i don't know if this will make a video maybe if i find another plow i don't know i ain't decided yet so that's where we stand there till then this thing will just hang out Still might put the tire chains on it though once I find them. Alright, peace out. Wait, hold up, not so fast. We can make this happen after all. One way or another, this plow is getting on this tractor. Especially since I now have gas for the welder. We're gonna make this work or else.
that being said <clears throat> back here to where i was before believe it or not i had this all back together and put back on that other tractor and uh And as you can tell, I pulled most of my hair out trying to figure this out until I got the gas for the welder, so. Anyhow, that's besides the point. So, what I'll probably do, because I, as I showed earlier in the uh, last attempt, gotta modify some things here. I'm gonna mark this here and cut this section out and I think that'll clear from hitting this. Basically gotta modify these sides and get them situated and I'll clamp things in place. And uh did get a little ahead of myself last night or did some things off camera, but nothing too major. I'm gonna put this piece I probably had to cut it down some, but between here and the other side, and I got these marked here to draw holes where I need them to line up with these holes that are already here. Unless for some reason it would prove otherwise that that won't work, but I'm thinking it'll work. So. What I'm gonna do, probably put this on charger for a while because it needs a little charge. Um, just gonna, you know, hit it with the death wheel. Well, I'll mark them and hit them with the death wheel. Notch them out. I might go ahead and drill these holes to get that started. It's gonna be a process, so follow along. All right. So I got those areas cut off right there, on both sides, That's the other side. So that clears, I can get it back far enough, clamp it in place here. Guess I'm just going to do this one side at a time to get these set up. Got everything clamped. I was going to use this back here to mount, but... I think I'm just going to do use this hole. It's already in this piece of metal. And just put a hole through there. I just didn't want two holes real close together back there. And I just feel it's going to be a little bit stronger. Also marked where I got to notch this so I ain't blocking the exhaust. I think this side's going to be, you know... A little more complicated than the other one, from what I can tell. <clears throat> so I'm basically, hmm, yeah, it's gonna be fun. I'm basically gonna mount it like that. Wherever this side lines up. I'm trying to keep it lined up with those holes in front here. Looks like I might be trimming these off more than I planned to make this work, but we can manage. So. I guess I'm going to mark that hole over there and drill it. And uh, figure out, I guess, how I'm doing this front part. I don't know. I'm just kind of winging it. But I got an idea in my head how I'm going to do it, so bear with me. what we're gonna do. Alright, so we got this side drilled, that put on there, kind of hanging there. Trying to get both sides as close as possible. It ain't exactly symmetrically the same the 
way I scabbed this together before because I added these arms if I can't remember if I mentioned that in the past but I did that to make them work on the other tractor plus it just seemed like a little bit more strength and stability but I kind of eyeballed everything I think just get it close so I don't this side's a little bit more difficult than I thought it would be I had to clamp everything in real well here and just trying to make sure the measurements are close to the same on each side this kind of springs out here but I think once I uh, mark where I want the hole drill it I can just draw it in then with the bolts I may have to take this arm off, steering arm off out of my way to get the drill bit in there straight. I have to drill a pilot hole, smaller bit like I did on the other side, and then take the 3 8 bit or whatever. I think the next size up is what I use just to give it a little bit more play in there. So I'll use that hole again. From what I can tell, it'll be about the same area. Uh, <clears throat> if not, it'll probably still work, but it's about the same range, it might be a little bit more or less, but I think it'll work just fine. Sure, yeah, I'll have to try to see if I can get that off there out of the way. Turn the wheels the other way. First, I gotta mark that hole. I had to clean that frame off right there. Alrighty, guess I'll get back to it. Alright, got that back off there. So I could drill this hole, got it marked. Uh, about where I want it. So, when we get to drawing that out, I'll probably put it in time lapse. Like I said, I gotta draw a smaller hole, like a pilot hole, then I'll move to the bigger bit. that on there loosely um, I think I got this lined up about as close as I can get it put this file in between there to make the gap even on each side here because it can't be flush um, just did some checking here on things <clears throat> Actually, I'm trying to get that as close as possible. need to come down now. Yeah, as long as it's in the ballpark. Got to trim them ears off her. And I got this part, this piece. It's going to go between there, marked. Trim them there and then <clears throat> tack it in place. I mean, this might not be perfect, but as long as it's close. I mean, that's showing an even level right there. I mean, I think we'll be all right. So, I'll trim my mirrors off air and come on back and show you what's up. trimmed up. 
put this on here. Guess I'm ready to tack this on. My cuts ain't perfect. Thought about beveling them for penetration, but I don't want to make the gap any bigger, and I think there's enough gap there to make penetration, so as long as I can fill it. So I'm going to do that. And gotta keep, I think i got to keep 12 inches between these two things, and it should still line up the way it did before, hopefully. If not, I'll have to modify some other stuff, but... We almost got this, so I'm gonna go ahead, set up the welder, hopefully everything works all right. Tack it up here tonight. It might be all I do tonight though, get it tacked and try to finish it up tomorrow evening or something. I don't know, I ain't decided yet. All right, let's get to it. Well, a couple tacks on here, so figure out what I'm going to do next, I'm going to keep going or weld her up, I mean I'll take, probably take this all the way off in one piece to weld it up since everything's set, but I sit here and cool a little bit before I go moving it, so whatever I do next you'll see whether it's tonight or tomorrow so I'm making headway like I said as soon as I want to have a plow one way or the other all right you're back all right we're back here again it's next evening um thought I'd work on this thing some um as you can see I uh Measured between here, and it's supposed to be 12 inches originally, but there's just a little bit more than that. So, uh, bolt holes wouldn't line up. Hold on, and they were a little off anyway. That might be any by like a quarter inch or something, eighth inch. So, I took more of this uh, flat bar stock, whatever you want to call it. That I have laying around. <clears throat> I made two more cross pieces for there. I may do something to strengthen those, strengthen those up. I don't know how bad they'll flex, but uh, I mean they may not. But I may just do something just in case. But <clears throat> um, but what I got to do yet is I got to take this piece off the old cross pieces and uh, figure out where to put it on here and mark for the new holes for that I think I'm going to go ahead and do all that before I go welding it all the way up so I guess I'll figure out where I want this and Drill the holes out some more. Drill more holes, I mean. Well, got this clamped in place. I think that's as close as I'm going to get it. Um, as far as measurements and everything. Seems to be pretty centered. Just hope everything's in the right height still. Um, it should be fine, though. 
So I took a marker and marked inside them holes there. And uh, yeah, so I just want to take this all apart now. Take those bars, drill new holes in them. More holes, I should say. <clears throat> and then I'll do whatever I'm going to gotta do next. Could be adding bars to strengthen those. I'm not sure yet. But we'll figure it out, so. I'll be back. All right. As you can see, got that back on there and mocked up for the most part. Went ahead and put this on to see. It's kind of just temporarily on there. I've got a lot of lean to it right now. I don't, can't remember if it did that before or not, but maybe just because of the height. I don't know if it's a problem. I have to adjust it later, but it'll get this handle hooked up, but it will come up a lot. So it gets off the ground plenty. And that reaches far enough back there. So I guess now I can Take this all back off. Uh, take that whole plow bracket, whatever you want to call it, off, and uh, do whatever I got to do to it. Still, I got to trim these spots down here because of the, if not the axle when it uh, pivots, whatever, will hit. But I can trim it right there because it's close to where it stops anyway. I do that on both sides. I still got to cut this out so that it ain't in the way of the exhaust. So yeah, that's what I'll do. Um, yeah, so I set you up when I'm doing some of that stuff. All right. <clears throat> Back out here on Friday night. Hoping to get most of this knocked out. The hard part of it anyway. So I got these pieces cut. I'm gonna put them in. If I can get them in here. Hold on. All right, I'm gonna put them in there like that. But I'm gonna bevel the mating edges of each bar the grinder. I do it to that one too. <clears throat> and then the switch this don't matter. And I don't know if I want to do it down here lower to this one. Might just keep it higher. Put it up here. Across there. <clears throat> Probably put three beads of weld. One there. One there. Probably one in the middle back behind there. And same with the top. But first, I'm going to bevel the edges. And get everything tacked on. I had to take this back off to do it. So I'm gonna get to doing that. Bring you back when I'm ready to tack her on, I guess, and then tear all this off in one piece and uh, trim what I need to trim and start welding her up. So I'll be back. <laughs> Should be something like uh, I don't know, yeah. <sighs> the one that fit. 
lights. Uh, if I can get it to stay, I'll come back. Well, kind of got a jack holding this in place, sort of. You get the gist of what I'm doing. Then I'll just weld between there in a couple spots. It's not all the way across, just the middle of the sides, the ends. Same way with the upper one. Once I figure out how to hold one there. Alrighty, I'll be back when I'm ready to zap them. Alright. Got the mating surfaces cleaned up and uh, everything good enough to weld. Um, got that one clamped and held in place by magnets. By magnets. I had to move some of them to the bottom there to get that one lined up better. But I'm gonna go ahead and tack this in place. So I'll set you up while I do that. That one barely hit. tuned back in but that and I forgot to heat this these areas before I welded them but I think regardless they'll still work if I have to I'll put some weld behind it too I'm gonna go ahead and finish welding down here so come back when I'm done well I was finishing welding her there trying to and, uh, well, we came up a little short because, uh, I ran out of wire. So, ain't one thing, it's another. At least that's a little more affordable than, uh, gas, so. 
guess that's all I'm doing tonight. So maybe I'll get some wire this weekend somewhere. See where I can get the stuff I need cheapest, I guess. Well, till then, I'll see ya. Well, I went ahead and finished up welding this. Not the prettiest, but they'll hold. Um, good enough for who it's for anyway. Did all the back welds there. Uh, fact of the matter is, I just need a bigger welder. But I need a bigger budget for that, so deal with what we have. So, yeah, they ain't the straightest either. Something I have trouble with. Maybe it's because you can't see through a dark helmet. Sometimes I can see, I don't know. I try to put light on my situation. <clears throat> anyway, I uh, welded it, hit it with the grinder some, make them a little prettier. Uh, smooth out some of the spots I had to cut. Actually, I forgot to. Still got to grind those spots there. I'll do that. And I'll hit it with put the rattle can with Stolium there to keep weather away from it. And throw it back on. So, see you then. Alright, so I had this all bolted on here yesterday. Uh, New Year's Day, yesterday evening, I should say, and uh, you know everything went together all right. Then I noticed that even with the uh, plow, you know, all the way down position, there was still a pretty good gap under it. So I got to looking around. I guess I didn't even really touch it. So what I decided to do is I took these bolts out of this part mount and brought it down some and I guess I'm just going to drill more holes in that and hopefully that works actually I had to put spacers in between the top two or else it'll still have a gap underneath it but not as bad but in my mind the plow's supposed to be touching so so what I did here real quick, the easiest way I could think of is I took a spray bomb, silver, sprayed through the holes so I can, so I could mark where I want to drill holes. That one top one over there is going to be a little tricky, I don't know, I might have to redo some of this, I'm not sure, but... I'll figure it out. Not everything's to an exact measurement on this thing. At least the plow. It's some hackery I did like two years ago. So. Things ain't quite in spec, but that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take that piece off the plow and the tractor there. And uh, drill two more holes in it, I guess. Uh, I'm gonna go do that anyway. I should have just figured out a way to. No, it's just. Never mind, I know a way that I can do it. Alright, back then. Alright, skip ahead. It's on there. We drilled them holes, put it back on, added some not right size washers, but they worked. <clears throat> reason what I have um, it was all the way down now I still may adjust these a little bit give it a little bit of gap but not as much as before because I don't know if it's gonna um, cause some um, resistance that's the word so I mean, if a minimal amount of snow slides under there, that ain't so bad. But I just didn't want the gap I had before. Goes up, goes down. And it ain't too bad reaching the handle where it's at. Um, I think I'm 
think now if I can find them. I know I had them. I had some tire chains off a of Cub Cadet I used to have because I forgot to give them away with it. But at least I thought I did. If I don't find the ones I have, and her dad said he has some, so I'm gonna look for them and see if I can throw them on real quick. Well, found the chains, but I was trying to put them on and. Yes, they're too small for these tires. I thought the tires they were on were close. I don't know. I don't have the tractor anymore, but I guess they were a little smaller. So I guess I'll see what Dad has. Until then, let's fight it for this video. Next time you see this thing, it'll probably be um, when there's a the snow. And, uh, and or if I find chains, there that could end up being the same video, but this probably is as ready as it's gonna be for now. So <clears throat> I wanna make sure everything operates, functions like it should <clears throat> before I do anything else to it. Kinda of going crazy with it. Some crazy ideas, but We'll wait and see how she performs first. So, that's it for this one, I guess. Like, share, and subscribe. Comment, all that. Help me get this channel going so, you know, you know, we can get up right where we need to be. And maybe one of these days this channel can fund itself. That would help keep the uh, content coming and whatnot. And, Another problem is, is I don't know how to make short videos, like, not, I feel like short videos for me wouldn't have enough info and things would seem like they're skipped like you see on TV. I try to break them down as short as I can, but I don't know, you know, that's, I mean, I get if you just end up watching me do this stuff, I don't need every detail, but I don't know how not to do that, so where we are just want to get this done and out of the way for now all right like i said like share subscribe thanks to those who have subscribed and you know those that i guess believe in me or whatever and doing this stuff i'm hoping by spring and summer i get into more car things this is just something to do i mean it's kind of relatable but all right, I'm rambling, so till the next one, I'll see you.